you know, I just want to pivot a little bit, you know, because it makes me think about in, in, in your work, you know, I want, I want you to talk about how, how you use, how you use humor, um, because, um, you know, it, you know I mean, I, I laughed out loud, right, you know, through, throughout your book, and a lot of times, you know, some, sometimes you're, you're writing about things that, that aren't, that aren't funny, you know what I'm saying, you're, you're like, your mother, you know, taking a straight bullet, you even put a joke in, in, in <laughs> about that, and I'm and and I know at that moment that shit wasn't funny, you know. Um, but I, I, you know, I, I like, I, you know, I really like what, what you what, what you do with you. I want to talk about how how that works in your work. Well, and and the thing is, I I can and will say the same thing for your work. Um, and you know, I was watching a um, it was either watching or reading an interview with uh, Michelle Cole. Um, and I've been obsessed with her. Um, have you watched I May Destroy You? Um, I, I just watched, right before we spoke, I was just watching the last episode. Okay, Incredible. and I'm obsessed with her, with that show, with the fact that she created this, that that she wrote something like a hundred and something versions of the script before she set her on it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know, when you watch that show and you listen to her talk about the creative process, it is, it's magic. Like it's, 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 it's literal like magic. And one thing that she said in one of the interviews, because a person was asking her, okay, how, how do you find levity and humor in this really dark subject matter? And her response was that I just don't remove it. Mm. Um, and, and I, and I think that's the same, you know, with, with my approach where all, all of these situations you know, even the terrible, the awful, the tragic involves, there is some humor there sometimes. There is some levity there sometimes. There is some absurdity and ridiculous, ridiculousness there sometimes. And I just choose not to remove it. Mm. I, I choose to like leave it in there because it's a part of the story. And, and also it's a part of how I tell stories. Like I can't, I can't tell stories without the humor. Now, there are parts of the book, there are parts of other things I've written that where, where humor just, they're just, they're just I, I, I made the choice to remove it. I made mm. the choice to remove it. Or it just doesn't exist. Or it just didn't exist. And I just wrote a straight, sober, serious piece. And that is that happens sometimes. But, but mostly, the humor isn't injected. The humor is just already there. And I just find a way to to articulate it in a way that isn't like egregious. I uh, hopefully not egregious. Hopefully not distracting. You know. And so I did a I did a book talk yesterday with um. It was Memoir Monday, and I did um. And someone asked one of oh, those. Shit, that was yesterday. Yeah, I just saw it on Facebook, and I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna watch that. <laughs> <laughs> It was last night. And I guess whenever people will be watching this, we're talk with this we're recording this um April or August eighteenth. So the event that I'm talking about happened August seventeenth, Monday, August seventeenth. But um And Facebook just told me about it today. Yeah. <laughs> Facebook is racist. Facebook is, 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 is racist. Facebook yeah. But um what was I saying? Oh I I think that there are people who come to my work, and particularly white people, who come to my work sometimes and know that it is dealing with these very heavy topics of race, racism, mm. uh, misogyny, patriarchy, masculinity, performance, economic anxiety, and anticipate a certain sort of book or a certain sort of work. And while I love Ibram, you know, and how to be an anti-racist, and Tanahensi, and 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 Ijoma, and all the people who are doing the really robust anti-racist or anti-racist work. My work isn't that. This isn't mm -hmm. like this isn't going to be a guide on. This isn't going to be a guide for white people on how to be better white people. This isn't going to be centered always. You know, centered in trauma or. Or, 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 or centered in like a very like sober reaction to the trauma. Like in the first three or four pages of my intro, I have an entire page devoted to the connection between masturbation and prayer. 
<laughs> okay, and it's like, yeah, this, this is the sort of book that you're getting from me. And, mm-hmm. and again, I just, I need, humor is just an essential part of how, of, how I, of how I see the world and how I tell stories, how I've, how I've been able to find catharsis, you know, not just on the page, but in, in, in quote unquote real life. Um, you know, having jokes in my head, having observations in my head, you know, getting an opportunity to finally write them down. Um, and so, yeah, the humor, it's, it's there and will always be there with my work and, and with your work. I mean, and, and, I, and I'm referencing specifically the, the New Yorker piece. Um, and what was the title of it? Like, again, Shape Ups and Delilahs. Shape Ups and Delilahs. And I, I was reading it and one, how magic it is. Like some of the shit that happens is, is it, it felt like I was reading a screenplay from Atlanta where it exists, <laughs> <laughs> it exists, that it, like it could have happened, it could be real, but it's so absurd. It's mm. so ridiculous. I'm like this, this, no, this could never ever happen in real life. But it's still based and still centered in reality. But just the humor weaving through it, and you have this very, you know, these very dark backdrops with death, incarceration, you know, abuse. But humor mm. is still a part of that story, and I think for us for black people who are telling stories, who are telling American stories, humor is radical. Yeah. yeah. It, it's, it's, it's a radical act to be able to exist this way and, and feel all of this racism, all this oppression, all of the measures America takes to kill us and still be able to create things that, that, that look all the oppression, that look all the bias, that look all of the hate in the face. And it's like, yeah, this shit, it's awful, but it's also funny. And I'm not, I'm not going to flatten my humanity just because America is trying to flatten me. Right. Yeah, and I think, you know, when you, you say that, it's like, you know, it's, it's like, you know, it's, where it's finding a lot of the joy within, within, this, within this, this mess, you know? Um, yeah. you, know there's, you know, that story, you know, it, is, is a lot about sexism and it starts with an absurdity the idea that somehow your your, your gender you know makes you unfit to do this to do this job which <laughs> you know and, and it's like we you know it's like a lot we, we talk this and we buy this and we, we run with it um and you know i wanted to start with you know this is an absurdity and you know and spin it out you know, and, and think about all the other absurdities that are connected with that, um, and and I, I think that's that's a lot of what I do, and it's like, you know, finding that 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 uh, a, lot, a lot of times it's finding that joy within within the within the pain, within the you know, if there is struggle or if there is trauma, you know, like like he th- like I think about like like he essays heavy, um, which is a dark you know deals with a lot of dark stuff. It's, it's also hilarious, um, yeah. and I you know I felt like a lot of the white critics missed that. Um, mm-hmm. and, and they didn't, and they didn't understand, they didn't understand, even, even praising it, um, they, they didn't understand, um, that, um, that he was writing a lot about the, 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 the joy that, that's connected with the, with the, you know, with, with the, with the hardships, that it's not all hardships, that it's, you know, that, that, it, that is, that is, that, that is life, which ultimately means that we're gonna laugh, you know? <laughs> It's that black abundance. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, and, and with and with yeah, same with heavy. You know, and I, I did a thing with him a couple weeks ago and I remember bringing that up. It's like you know, if you were just to read in in you know, heavy has gotten all types of awards and as you have, you know, all types of awards and, and recognitions and whatever. Um but you just don't see that many um that 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 many references to the humor in it right. because it's not it's not a book that is like okay this is a this is a humor book um and so there's not going to be humor and, and i think again that that goes back to the flattening um where not just america not just america in general but sometimes most times white critics do that too where they okay, this is a race book. This is a serious book. 
And so I'm, when I write my critique, when I give my critique, I'm going to, I'm going to lot it, but it's, I'm going to place it. I'm going to compartmentalize and place it in this, in this, in this black bubble or in this race mm -hmm. bubble or in this trauma bubble. Um, and, and not even think about, or not even, and, 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 and this is something that I've thought about too. Is it that they're ignoring the humor or is it that, I'm they, sorry. Oh, I said, is it that they are ignoring the humor or is it that they just don't see it? Cause that could be another thing yeah. where the jokes in your work and KSA's work and my work, you know, exists at a frequency that maybe only we're picking up on and the humor isn't necessarily being ignored. It's just going completely over heads. Yeah, I, I think, I feel like with our books that, you know, from what I've seen, you know, people seem to, seem to, to, um, um, not so much ignore it. Um, not necessarily know what to do with it. Um, because it's side by side with, with, with a lot, with a lot of, with a lot of stuff. I feel like it's, uh, um, with some other books, it, it's um, it's it's completely yeah, it's completely ignored uh, because they're in the category. Of this is a, this is a serious book. Um, I think I, I think what we do is um, what we're doing. It, it, it's so it, it's so in your face, right? Uh, I think the, the the we use humor in a in a serious way that it, it's, it's it's aggressive, you know. Um, and it's a you you really can't you really can't ignore. It. Um, but then it's side by side with you know with you know at least in your work it's side by side with these incredible insights and these these incredible this incredible vulnerability um, which you've recently said is not is is not um, <laughs> is not a confidence is or is not a bravery um, which, which which I'm going to disagree with even if it's even if you need it even if it's like I need a check. Um, you revealed you revealed a, a, a lot and I'm I'm, I'm cringing like. You know, I have this mask of fiction. You know, it's like a lot of a lot of my stuff is on the page, but I could just be like, "Hey, it's just, that's, it's a character. It's fiction." Um, you know, with you, it's not a character, and and it's um, you know, um, and I, I you know, I I, I would just you know, I, I guess sort of pivoting a little bit. How how you know how how have people reacted reacted to to a lot of these uh, vulnerabilities? Uh, people in your life, people that you know. Um, and you know, you, and, and how you how you've portrayed them as well um, on on the page. Well, be, before I even answer that, I'm going to push back on 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 what you just said right there about how you know. I guess the nature of my work writing memoir allows me to be more vulnerable than than you are, who, who writes fiction or writes short stories. And I I I I disagree with that because I think that when writing writing short story and writing fiction in, in the way that you do or the way that Nafisa does or the way that Nana Kwame does, we're, we're getting into your head. Like mm -hmm. you're, you're, maybe you're not writing about experiences, although you are, but you're also creating these really absurd and bizarre and awkward situations. And so even if you're not giving us a vulnerability and an insight into your life. You're giving us an insight into your head. Well, which I, is, let me, let me, I was I wasn't saying that it was that it um, that allows you to be more vulnerable. I'm just saying I agree with you. I think that yeah, I'm 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 I'm, I'm just as vulnerable on the page, and I, and you know I think Nafisa is just as vulnerable on the page. But there's a mask. There's a veil that I that, that I that I can pull down. 